Hi, my name is Sylvia from the Madina Red Coat Church, and I want to testify how God delivered me from gambling. So growing up, I found myself in a neighborhood noted for social vices, and that's how I was caught up in gambling. I used to be a church kind of guy. I used to follow my mom to church always, and I was always in church Sunday, midweek service, always in church. But I was actually living a dual life. My mom would go to church and she would give me money to follow her. And when she goes, I would use the money to gamble before I go to church. And in church, I was an usher. So I gamble before I usher people into the church. And this kept on going on for some time. And also, one thing gambling did to me was that I nearly didn't complete GHS because I used part of my school fees to gamble. When I was preparing for my BEC as my final GHS exams, we were writing mock and I actually used part of my school fees to gamble and I lost. So I didn't write about three or four papers and it became a problem. So my mom went to the school and she found out that I've not paid some of the school fees. So she has to pay, she has to repay my school fees. So after school fees, at that time they gave me money to sew a new school uniform because my old, my old one was worn out. And I used part of that same money to gamble and I actually lost again. So it really had an effect on me. Money that was supposed to be used for different and I'll use the money to gamble. So when I go to game centers and people are playing video games, as soon as I enter, they will be hailing me and be calling me cha cha henimini, king of gambling. And I will say in, in quote, yeah, fashion share so and it means should we start and they will stop playing their video games and will start gambling. So when I went to the university, I upgraded my gambling life into sport betting. That's, we go to super bets, these sport betting companies to bet. And in these super bet offices, we will be arranging betting us as if we are actually solving commerce. Yeah, so you, you arrange us to win a lot of money. And it, it went on with, it went on to online betting. So no need for us to go to super bet offices or betting companies, but to be in the comfort of your room and be betting. And this was so easy for us. So I, I remember, I remember, actually I remember my friend and I wanted to win 30,000 Ghana cities with as little as low as five, 50 pesos. And actually we lost. So in level 100, level 200, I was actually in church. I came serious in church, but I was still living a dual life. With my, I couldn't stop betting. I used to tell my, my friend, I used to say, Charlie, cha-cha there, it's, it's, it's a spiritual, but we couldn't stop, we couldn't stop. We, we tried so many ways to stop, but we couldn't stop. I believe I actually stopped gambling by listening to prophet messages and also doing something for God. I, 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 I believe that as a Christian, I couldn't live a dual life. I actually couldn't live a dual life. I can't gamble and also come and bash people to church. It got to a point, I told myself actually, I have to stop this lifestyle. So coming to church and doing something for God and listening to messages actually helped me from gambling. But I believe working in the church and continue coming to church and continue listening to prophet messages the gambling actually dropped off me. I, I, I can't really remember how I stopped gambling, but by the grace of God, I no longer gamble. And for about three, four years, I'm not gambling, I'm not moved by betting, online betting, and all other kinds of gambling. It's a sin, but this kind of sin, that's actually not vividly written in the Bible, but it's actually yes, and I believe it's also, it's also, it's also covetousness. And with gambling, as I said, it's a spirit, like we are actually greedy to win a lot of money. If someone out there listening to me is struggling from gambling, I believe God is the only one who can deliver you or save you from gambling. I can't really tell I stop gambling, but I believe by the grace and power of God, 
I no longer gamble. I also believe that as you come to church and listen to messages and you read books and you find yourself doing something in church, you will be delivered from gambling. So I actually want to thank God for saving me and delivering me from gambling. It's my own strength and might. I've tried so many times to stop gambling, but I couldn't. But I believe the grace and power of God delivered me from gambling. So I really want to thank God very much and also thank Prophet for preaching to our for preaching to us, counseling us, encouraging us to do something for God. One thing Prophet used to say was that as you work for God, all your problems will gradually drop off. And I believe my problem of gambling dropped off as, as, as I served God and was doing something in church for God. So I really want to thank Prophet for preaching to us and, and encouraging us to do something for God. God bless you, Prophet.